Welcome to another episode of Chem Kid, and today we're going to be exploring a material called starlight. Starlight is an intumescent material claimed to be able to withstand and insulate from extreme heat. It was invented by a British hairdresser and amateur chemist, Maurice Ward. The reason it works is because it creates an insulating carbon foam that expands toward the flame. This material insulates so well that we can protect an egg from the heat of a blowtorch, which can get up to 2,000 degrees Celsius for up to three minutes. This video is sped up to about two times, and this is not the whole video. Now you can peel away the starlight from the egg, and as you can see, the egg is not burned or damaged in any way. As you can see, the egg did get cooked to a small amount, but this is only because I had an error in making the starlight itself. It's mostly uncooked, though. This is a piece about two inches wide, running for about 10 minutes on time lapse. The reason it insulates so well is again because of the carbon foam that expands towards the flame. The moment the flame stops, you can touch it. This is because the carbon foam is extremely good at dissipating the heat. Maurice Ward was extremely secretive with the recipe he used to make the starlight. He wouldn't let anyone, including the military and NASA, use his recipe. He demanded billions of dollars for his invention, yet no one gave him any money at all. If you want to know how to make this material or what the ingredients are, please contact me via email on the YouTube channel page. As you can see here, I am again testing it on my hand for five minutes. This video is sped up greatly. The only difference I can feel on my hand is a little bit of warmth. It gets warm and eventually uncomfortable, but it protects you, and it's amazing how well it works. Here is another angle of me burning my hand, or I guess I should say not burning my hand with the blowtorch. Again, the blowtorch can get up to 2,000 degrees Celsius. In some commercial tests, the material was found to resist temperatures up to 10,000 degrees. However, some people say this is fake and that the tests were faked. No one really knows for sure except Ward's family. Again, this is not the original recipe. This is a remake of materials that are cheap and able to get from the grocery store or online. This is an example of its heat dissipation. You can touch it immediately right after the blowtorch is gone. It's a little warm, but gets cooler and cooler the longer it's there. You can continue this process for quite a while. So the material can last pretty much forever. Here is an example with some of the putty on my finger. Several minutes later, my hand is still fine. Again, touching it immediately is fine. Well, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and follow me on my Instagram page. You can find all this information on the YouTube homepage. And as always, thanks for watching.